What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 118 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. And this week, our special guest is gonna be Silence Tech, showing off his crazy awesome gaming setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below, so you can check it out. Let's start off episode 118. All right, first up is Warped Imaginations, and as you can see, this is nuts. It's actually his space that he uses for developing games and stuff out in LA, and uh, it's, it's insane. Four mounted monitors, a lot of VR stuff going on, so let's check it out. The two monitors on the outside are two LG ones in a portrait mode. Those he said are mainly used for like coding and stuff. And then in between, his primary display is the Acer Predator X34. And then on top is the BenQ XL 240G. Definitely a unique orientation here the way they're all set up, but it's gotta be getting the job done with all those pixels. All right, now down to his peripherals, got a nice little selection going on here, going with a black and white color theme as well, and all wireless. His keyboard is the Code 87, and he has the Logitech G900 mouse on a nice white extended mouse pad. You can see in the back the Amazon Echo Dot there, and what that is, you're gonna see in the middle there, that sort of triangle thing, is the Creative Lab Sound Blaster X7, and they're powering his speakers, which were mounted as well. The Warfidel Diamond 220s. Then he's got the Parrot Zik and the Astro A50s off to the side for his headphones and his headset. Now we're gonna check out that PC, which he has mounted up on the wall over on the left side, rocking the great NZXT H440 case. Inside's an Intel 5960X with some sort of AIO on there. You got 64 gigabytes of some G-Skill RAM and two EVGA Titan Xs in SLI. It does have a little custom paint job on the GPU and the bridge as well. That's on an Asus X99 Deluxe 3.1 motherboard. But altogether, you can definitely get his love for a portal. It feels very similar to that. Even with the little the lab decal and stuff. Warped imaginations represent his brand. But even just like across the room, a nice TV mounted. He's got the HTC Vive mounted on the ceiling for like a cable free experience pretty much. Also got the Oculus, he's got it all. This is just a really, really amazing gaming setup here. Love what he's doing. All right, next is what happens when you take some awesome dedication into a project and turn a closet into a badass gaming setup. Yeah. This conversion setup is just stunning. Really, really loving the DIY and the dedication to this. Got the triple monitor gaming setup going on that he could, you know, sit down at the end of the day, relax and game. And when he's done, if he wants to close it up, be more discreet about the room, then it's pretty much gone. So taking a closer look, those are three Dell U3011 monitors. It's a part of their ultra sharp lineup and they come in at 2560 by 1600. And I know what you're thinking, you're saying, no, those aren't all the three the same. They are, that's just the result of a very, very wide lens. I think at least, it's the only monitors he puts down. Then for his peripherals, he has down the Yufu wired keyboard with a combat wing mouse. Haven't heard of those, I'll try to put them down below for you guys. And that's along with his Wacom Bamboo tablet on a nice extended mouse pad from Corsair. And as for audio, he has the Mackie CR3 speakers with the Audio-Technica M50X headphones powered by the Fio E17 amp and DAC. And unfortunately, this is the only photo really, really detail we have about his PC. All he told me was inside is an i7 4790 CPU with a 7870 GPU. So it is his first PC, but he said he wants to you know, build the space first, go with the aesthetic, and then possibly upgrade later on down the road. So I really, really love this converted closet into a gaming setup here. Also a huge fan of those wooden uh, closet doors. Like, damn, can I have those? Uh, so really solid stuff, man. Hope to see more from you in the future. And then coming right back with it is Harris with a nice stacked monitor orientation here for his gaming setup. And this is just throwing all the, the soothing colors at us here. I like the way it all blends with the, the greens, the blues, and the purples. You can see the RGB peripherals right off the bat as well as the nice light strip behind his desk to give his setup some more pop and some more color. Definitely does it all justice here. Now for the displays, the bottom one is a 29 inch LG ultra wide and the top is a Dell 2415H. And what's good on his part is he has both the monitors mounted on a single arm bracket. So he has the cable routed down behind that. It looks really nice and this is a good clean mounting job. 
Now, as for his peripherals, if this isn't the glory shot of all time, I don't know what is. Love these overhead shots here. His keyboard is the Razer Black Widow X Tournament Edition with the Razer Naga Trinity Mouse. That one's baller. On the Razer Firefly Mouse Pad. His headphones, the Bear Dynamic DT990 250 ohms, are also on the Razer um, RGB headphone stand. And also for audio, his desktop speakers are the KRK Rocket 5. For some extra gaming peripherals, as the Razer Orb Weaver keypad, along with the Razer Wolverine Tournament Edition uh, controller here. Definitely got some love for Razer, I'd say. Now we're going to check out the PC, and you'd be damned if you didn't think it was the Razer H440 case. Inside an Intel i5-6600 CPU with 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on a gigabyte B250M motherboard, the GTX 970 GPU with the NZXT Hue Plus PC lighting kit inside for some extra pop. So a bit dated at this point in 2018, but I'm sure for some of the modern games he runs it should handle it okay. And of course the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels above his setup just to take it to that next step of RGB goodness. So alright Harris, I see you and I appreciate the fact that even though you have all the chroma enabled products, you have them all matching to that same kind of uh, greenish, bluish, purplish theme you got going on for your wallpaper. So good job for that man, liking this. Then next up, we got our man Ramsel. We've had him on numerous times on this series, one of the first episodes as well. He's always showing off his newer rendition, and this is the early 2018 setup. And he just knows what it, we, he knows what to do when it comes to submitting some awesome, clean, crispy photos. I love this stuff. So for a more simple setup, he's going with one monitor this time around. It's a Samsung 32-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor with a 144Hz refresh rate. It's QLED. For his peripherals, he has the brand new Corsair K63 wireless keyboard, which I'm dropping my review tomorrow, by the way. With the Razer Lanthead Tournament Edition mouse on the Razer Sphinx V2 mouse pad. And then for audio, Ramsel's always been the king of audio. He's got the Yamaha HS50M Studio monitors for his speaker setup. With the Sennheiser HD 800 headphones, so jealous still. With the Shipmati 2 Uber DAC and the Shipahala 2 uh, Black Edition. And also on his desk he has the new Surface Book 2, which believe it or not has a GTX 1060 inside with 6 gigs of VRAM. Going along with the Surface Pen, the Surface Dial, and the Surface Mouse, this makes for just a killer mobile setup on the go, really making me want one of these. Touch that dial, looks pretty sick. And then we'll check out his PC. He has the Inwin 909 case with all tempered glass, this is definitely a nice classic look here. And inside for his CPU is the i7 6950X with 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM and an NVIDIA Titan XP GPU. But obviously just the whole tempered glass look to the case makes it look really, really nice. And obviously it's a beast of a PC. Just to add to the overall aesthetic of the room, you got some Philips Hue light bulbs and strips around his setup to make it pop. And then obviously the Nanoleaf Aurora light panels again up above it all. And then he can kick back and chill very comfortably in the Herman Miller M body chair. Always loving it, man. You're always killing it. Ramsel is a legend on RTP. Hi everyone, my name's Mark from Silenced Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you my 2018 insane ultimate gaming setup. A massive thank you to Random Frank P for having me on Room Tour Projects. And let's jump straight in with my quad monitors. Okay guys, I'm going to start off and go through my whole gaming setup. I've got three Acer XB27HU zeros. They are uh, 165 hertz G-Sync monitors high refresh rates so I can reduce latency, whatever you want to call it, as much as possible. Then if I want to uh, do some triple screen gaming, driving games, you name it, it looks absolutely insane. And then I've also got a ASUS PG34HQ up top, and that is an absolutely insane ultra wide. That is also 100 hertz. You're probably wondering, like, because I just said I'll game on the top monitor, you're probably wondering, well, when you get a bad neck looking up at the top monitor well i'll show you now it's still pretty awesome so as you can see oh, i can bring it down to eye level here i can move it about i could i could have it sort of completely flat and stand up and use it if i wanted to it makes the 
setup so cool. Moving on to my first PC, this is housed in a 570X case from Corsair in white. It has an 8700K overclocked to 5 GHz. It has 32 GB of Corsair Dominator, nope, not Dominator, Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM. I also have two 1080 Ti trios and they're like really overclocked and they run in two-way SLI. I have um, Corsair LL RGB fans. I have Corsair's newest, uh, I believe this is a H115i. Uh, excellent cooler, 360 millimeter rad, just absolutely awesome. I love this build, it's probably my favorite build I've ever done. And this is my second build housed in a Fantex Evolve case but it has another two 1080 Ti's inside of it. And that's the, these are the Strix editions from Asus. This PC is an absolute beast. It has a 6850K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. It's being cooled by a H115i, which features a 280 millimeter rad. And I also have 64 gigabytes of Dominator Platinum. This is the Chrome Special Edition, which are completely sold out everywhere. And I also cooling is Corsair's LL series RGB fans. Okay, lastly, I guess the logical thing is to talk about the cable management. The cable management is absolutely crazy in this setup. There's pretty much no cables anywhere, although I have just installed a nano leaf pretty much earlier. Underneath the desk, everything is just like so neat and tidy. Bearing in mind, I've got four monitors, two PCs, loads of audio gear, keyboard, mouse, headsets, lights, you name it, and you still can't see uh, any cables whatsoever. I drilled a hole in the desk to hide the cable from my K95 Platinum. And I think that summarizes most of it now, guys. That was just a quick roundup of some of the stuff in my gaming setup. There's so much more and it's all on my channel. Definitely go check it out guys if you have time. I'm sure Frank will leave a link in the description so you can check it out if you so choose to. Anyway, I will hand you back now to the main man, Random Frank P. This video is brought to you by Corsair and the brand new Corsair K63 wireless gaming keyboard. With nice blue LED backlighting and dedicated multimedia controls and volume keys, plus a nice compact 10 kilo size, if you need a wireless keyboard with no sacrifices, this one's for you. Over the 2.4 gigahertz connection, you only have a one millisecond response time, making pretty much no difference at all between a wired keyboard and the wireless K63. So if you wanna cut down on your desktop clutter and cut the cable at the same time, check out the Corsair K63 wireless. I'll have a link down below if you wanna learn more. All right guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 118 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, check the links in the description down below. If you saw any gear or hardware you wanna pick up, I'll have it listed down there for you. And a big shout out and thank you to Marcus from Silent tech for having his setup on display this time if you want to check his channel out i have it listed down below as well if you like the episode give it a thumbs up to show your support feel free to follow me on twitter at random frank p and lastly if you haven't already hit that subscribe button well i'm random frank p hope you enjoyed have a good day